Play Imagining a World Cup without Messi. Argentina 122 Taylor Twelman assesses just how likely a possibility it is that Messi and Argentina will not be in the 2018 World Cup. 122,225 p.m. B. Swith Argentina and Lionel Messi in danger of failing to qualify for the 2018 World Cup in Russia. We have a look at five more great sides that missed out on the tournament. Spain, 1958 The 1958 World Cup was the only tournament for which Italy have ever failed to qualify. They did and enter in 1930, and the 1950s proved to be tumultuous decade in Italian football, not least because of the Superga air crash that wiped out Il Grande Torino and thus much of the Italian side. But perhaps even more of a surprise absentee in 1958 was Spain's failure given the players in their team. They squad not only featured the core of the Real Madrid team that was in the process of winning the first five European Cups Alfredo Di Stefano, Francisco Hento, Jose Maria Zaraga, Enrique Mateos but also Barcelona greats Luis Suarez and Ladislao Kubala. On paper it looks like one of the most absurd collections of attacking talent ever assembled, but qualification in those days was a slightly more random affair only three teams to a group, meaning only four games played and therefore very little room for recovery from a bad start. And boy, was their start bad a 22 draw at home to Switzerland was followed by a 42 defeat in Scotland, meaning a pair of 41 wins in the return games were ultimately futile. Two years later, they reached the quarter-finals of the inaugural European Championships but had to forfeit the tie against the USSR after General Francisco Franco stopped the team from traveling to Soviet Russia. Argentina, 1970 Argentina have failed to qualify only once before for various reasons they did and to the 1938, 1950 and 1954 tournaments, but they missed Mexico 1970 for reasons of calamity on the pitch rather than off it. The few years leading up to qualifying were tumultuous they had four different coaches between 1967 and 1969, and the leadership of the National Association was forced to resign two weeks before qualifying started. Still, after finishing second in the 1967 Copa America, and with players like Rafael Albrecht, Antonio Bratin and Miguel Angel Brindisi in the ranks, they were expected to at least qualify. Preparations for the opening game against Bolivia, at altitude in La Paz, were poor they lost 31 and things didnt improve enormously from there. A 10 defeat to Peru a week later meant victories in the return games were crucial, but they only managed a 10 win over Bolivia, and a 22 draw in the final game at home to Peru meant they were denied a place in Mexico. Czechoslovakia, 1978 There have been three occasions when the reigning European champions have failed to qualify for the World Cup Two were shock Euro winners, as Denmark failed in 1994 and Greece didnt reached the 2006 tournament, so it's perhaps not as great a surprise. The Czechoslovakia team in 1976 was slightly different while their previous World Cup record had not been anything to shout too loudly about, they had won Euro 1976 in some style, sweeping past England in qualifying, then beating a Dutch side that featured Johnny Rep, Robinson Brink, Ruud Kroll and Johan Cruyff in the semi-finals. The final, when Antonin Panenka chipped his famous penalty pass set Meyer, remains the last time Germany or West Germany, as they were known, then lost a competitive penalty shootout. Qualifying for the World Cup was a different business. Given a tricky three-team group with Wales and Scotland, the Czechs started well with a 20 win over the Scots, but two trips to Britain eventually cost them. A 30 loss against Wales, then a 31 defeat in Glasgow, sent them out, and they would only qualify for three more major tournaments before the breakup of the country in 1993. Netherlands, 1986 Dutch football went through a period of transition and flux after the 1978 World Cup, having not qualified in 1982 or for Euro 84 the latter thanks to an implausible 121 victory for Spain over Malta in the last group game but by the time the qualifiers for 1986 came around, the next brilliant generation emerged. Ruud Herlitt, Frank Rijkaard, Marco van Basten and Wim Kieft had all established themselves in the national team, part of the young group brought through by Johan Cruyff at Ajax. But this talent couldn't be translated into success for the national team, probably not helped by the fact they had three different coaches during the six-game qualifying group. Keyes Ridgevers calamitously lost the first game against Hungary, and Rhinus Mikkels was brought back as a firefighter but still couldn't prevent a 10 defeat in Austria. By the time Leo Beanhacker arrived, all they could aim for was a playoff place, which in the end they only managed on goal difference. 
They faced Belgium in the playoff, and the Dutch were in trouble from the third minute of the first leg, when a theatrical fall from Frankie Verkorten and Gokkaeft sent off. Verkorten and himself scored the only goal of the game, and Van Basten got his second booking of the qualifiers, meaning both he and Kaieft were suspended from the return leg. Despite this, the Dutch thought qualification was in the bag after going 20 up in the return leg, but with five minutes remaining George Grun rose to score a header, sending Belgium through on away goals. Gerard Julien of Getty Images France, 1994 France did not qualify for the 1990 World Cup and went out at the group stage of Euro 92 thus their failure to reach USA 94 might not be the greatest shock. But a look at the collection of players tells you that this was a colossal gut punch for a side that couldn't perhaps should have done great things in America. Marcel de Sailly, Laurent Blanc, Frank Soze, Jean-Pierre Papin and Eric Cantona were all in the starting lineup for the side that faced Bulgaria in the final game of their qualification group. You could argue that the damage had already been done, with a home defeat to Israel a month earlier having held up France's qualification, but they came into this game knowing a draw would be enough for them to finish above the Bulgarians. Cantona gave them the lead, but Emile Kostadinov leveled soon after, and as the clock ticked down, tension grew. With a minute to go, substitute David Ganola had the ball in the corner, but rather than wasting time, he hit across to the back post. It was too strong, Bulgaria broke and a passive French defence allowed them to play in Kostadinov, who lashed a shot in off the bar. France were out, and the recriminations were long. Gerard Houllier described Ganola as the murder of French hopes, and years later, the winger sued the manager for comments made in a book. The feud continues even to this day.